Hello YouTube. So as you can see, if you can't tell already, I do uh, snow blower and small engine repair. And today I'm going to do a little bit of a tutorial. It's going to be very basic. So if you already know how to do this, this is not going to be in depth. This is just going to be for someone who maybe wants to try tinkering with their uh, snow blower or small engine, but doesn't really know what they're doing. So today we're just going to do a very, very basic carburetor cleaning. So I'm going to be working here on this Lawn Boy 320R. Um, it's basically the same for any of these that have bowl style carburetors, and actually all of these do. Uh, the only differences are primarily going to be, you know, maybe nut and bolt sizes, and then just how to get to the carburetors. For example, this Toro here is definitely a little more intricate, being that more plastics have to come off. So, on these lawn boys, basically what you're going to want to do first is flip them on up like this. And then you need to remove this bottom shroud so you can actually access the carburetor. So you're going to remove this screw, this screw, and this screw. And then this whole plastic piece will come off. As you can see, we have an identical snowblower here. I've removed the three screws. And then this is what you're left with. So, what you're going to do, this here is your carburetor. Now, probably this is the heart of the problem on most every small engine thing. Um, there's some diagnosing you can do, but honestly... Um, you know, if you haven't kept good gas in it or it ran good last year and now it won't run right, this is probably what you do. Now you'll all take a pair of pliers and just squeeze this little clip right here. Slide it back and then slide this fuel line off. And then go ahead and just drain it into a container so that you have a minimal amount of, amount of fuel leakage. Now just go ahead and remove this bolt. Get some rags underneath so that any fuel that does spill goes into there. Move the bolt and then just lightly pull this bowl off. Now you're in the internals of the carburetor now. You can see we definitely have some uh, build up here in this carburetor. Now in many instances you may want to actually take this pin out here and then you could remove this float and then underneath it there's a needle right there and then that goes into a seat. Um, if you're getting fuel leakage overnight or when it's sitting, that could definitely be the case. But in this case, I'm going to show you the most basic of a carburetor cleaning. So we're not even going to take anything else apart. We're just going to go ahead and clean this. Now the number one thing I see is right here in this middle portion right here, your main jet is in there right in here. So what you want to do is take your carburetor cleaner, find the little hole on the inside of that, and make sure that's freed up nice and good, nothing in it. So just take your carburetor cleaner in there and spray it. Personally, just use Walmart carburetor cleaner. Works good for me. Now you are going to want to clean up any residue in the bowl and then anywhere else on the carburetor. Also spray through this little fuel inlet right here. Just spray it in any real holes you see in there. You can see I removed this O-ring. It's a little deformed. In order to make sure the primer works properly and that the carburetor seals properly, you're going to have to make sure this goes back on in the right fit form or function. So that just goes around this outer lip all the way around. When you put the carburetor together, make sure this is good, otherwise your primer more than likely will not work. Now another extremely important thing, especially with these snow blowers, is the bolt that actually holds that bowl on has some jets in it, these little holes. So you need to make sure that this hole straight down in here and then the hole on each side is clear, otherwise the machine won't run right. Use some carburetor cleaning, cleaner, and maybe a little piece of wire from a wire brush. Make sure those are nice and clear. So now we're going to go ahead and go back together with it. We cleaned out the inside of the bowl, and we just sprayed around, clean the carburetor. Make sure this O-ring is sealed all the way around. Now take your bowl, and there's one important thing to note. You can see there's a little uh, notch, this little angled area. This needs to go like this. With the side with the pin right here is where the side with the divot goes. So go ahead and just snake it on up there and put your bolt back in. So now that that's nice and snug, go ahead and put your fuel line back on. Just go ahead and snug that back onto there. And then take your clip, bring it back up, squeeze these two tongs. I can actually do it with my hand. That's back on. Add fuel and let's go ahead and see if it runs. Okay. 
Now just go ahead and put your shroud back in, add these three screws, and you're good to go.